composition for sure, and this is kind of what they did last time. He's going to rely heavily on Louise getting some of these picks and on Takashi disrupting that back line. The only problem I'm worried about is Oheb up against Gusta Lagusta here. Personally, I am just not the biggest Aerithil fan. I like it against the Wan Wan, but even then, Wan Wan can sometimes get the advantage. So I'm a little iffy about it, but we do see as a final lock in there, that is the Akai. I'm guessing it's going to be in the jungle. How do you feel about it, Nice? I think Akai is probably your best choice here because you needed that utility. You're going against a Baksha again. And so now you're going to see these two junglers pretty much just taking the Demon Slayer emblems and fighting for objectives, right? That's kind of going to be the trend here for this game number four ahead of us. But also still, yeah, you have a lot of burst potential. You have the sustain. If Oheb can farm up and just kind of go in vacation mode, Blacklist or National will be in a good position. But RRQ Akira, like we saw them do the previous game, they've got similar picks, right? They can still work around it. They can still force Blacklist or National to follow their tempo. And still, this is going back. How does Lee, Louise start these fights up? I don't know. We will see because we are jumping into game four in the Land of Dawn. Once again, this is Blacklist International going up against RQ Akira in a best of five series. Will RQ bring us to a game five? Remember, match point here for Blacklist. If they're going to get this game, if they can take this game, they're going to continue oh. their journey, but Louise no, might no, not continue his. No. Oh, oh, there's the first blood here for All My Venus. Louise, you know, just taking too many hits this early on. That's not how you want to start it up. So now King going to be the focus here. They get the stun. He's in a bad position. You don't want to go down here. Like Haji grabbing a kill. And already off to a strong start here for Blacklist International. That is definitely huge and very troublesome for RQ Brazil. Already two members down. Not only Louise, one of your prime roamers, but also your jungler. Ooh, two to zero start looking quite shaky. And Blacklist has been able to get this even before level four. And this is the one thing that we mentioned about Haji on the Farsa. She's gonna have so much damage even without that feather airstrike. And the fact that she's able to have that mini stun when she can combo out her skills, it's enough for them to use that type of utility to take these really aggressive roamers from RQ Brazil down. I mean, not only that too, but you know, grabbing an early kill like this, Always kind of what we see from these mid lane mages running the mystery shop. They get early kills, it gets even more devastating. And when you're talking about someone specifically like Farsa, who the burst damage is already there pretty early on in comparison to Xavier, who needs a little bit more time to build up here, that's going to be pretty devastating here. This very, might... very devastating. And on top of that, like you mentioned, the Farza, there's just so much movement. And once Blacklist gets a little bit of a lead like this, it's going to be very reminiscent of game one. They're going to be hyper aggressive. They don't need to rubber band. They're just going to come in hard and fast. Oh, well, Haji going to wings by wings. Should be just fine here. Now, position-wise, it looks like they're both still going to fight for the turtle here. King going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Like the final blow comes out. Edward looking for oh. the kill. King, though, able to secure the turtle under the nose of Wise as they still continue on. Donning Light gonna come out here, but Wise and Takashi stuck together. Wise falling, Luis with the kill, able to pick one up themselves. Way the Dragon comes out too. Back and forth they go, now it's Luis on the run. Still gonna be chased down here, can't bob and weave out of there. Trying to run oh. for the hills, Edward on the hunt. Oh. It's Luis, but can't get away. Edward able to grab the kill. Ah, oh, he was so close to escaping, but unfortunately at the last moment, even before King was able to help him out, he had to get taken down. Now Blacklist with the 1,000 gold lead, but Haji in the mid side, he's gonna get taken down and a really good trade for RQ Brazil as now they're gonna center their focus onto the next control on the map. Taking a look at these items now. We are seeing Oheb with a nice advantage, very close to already getting that Blade of Despair in. Everyone else, pretty typical. The only major thing we have to look at is Edward with a slight gold advantage. Overall though, in the gold lane, things are at a standstill. So that is one thing that Brazil does have going for them here. The gold lead has not escaped too much. Only 600 gold, still 40 seconds until the turtle. So I wouldn't count Brazil out just yet. Well, as you saw, Clock of Destiny now being picked up here by Saigon. He's going to try to catch up here with Haji a little bit, but still the focus on the bottom side. Going to make Gusa Lagusa do some work here, trying to bob and weave, avoiding those airstrikes. And still, just going to get poked down a little bit, but look at the patience here. 
King and Louise waiting around, waiting for an initiation, as well as Wise. He's going to be walking in here in just a second, going to spot out King, and not sure if they want to commit onto it just yet. A lot of focus on these two gold laners by both teams as we find ourselves in a standstill. And even Saigon coming here from the backside for now. What I do notice is that Blacklist, they need to be careful because they don't exactly have a strong initiator, whereas RQ, they have Louise, but once again, Feather Airstrike gonna be popped off just to deal a little bit more damage, to have a little bit more clear, as well as to zone the members of RQ Brazil away, but was it too quick? Well, they know they don't have the Feathered Airstrike here. Going to be working on the turtle. Why trying to go in? Heavy spin oh. comes out. It's King again, securing the turtle under Wise. And now it's Oh My Venus going to be trapped here. Oh, head there to back up Oh My Venus. Not going to commit, though. Uh oh. They're still going to be chasing down Takashi. Could be in trouble. Gets out. Flicker from Saigon. Here comes Edward. Electo final blow, but he's going to get kicked by the way of the dragon. They find King, punishing him down. Make it two. Blacklist International punishing RRQ Akira. This is definitely very troublesome. Saigon trying to do something there, but Blacklist does not want to give this up just yet. It does seem like finally they're going to back off, but not until they push Brazil all the way back to their base. And at this point, Blacklist is just going to start hunting, taking out some of their jungle and feeding off of Brazil's own resources. I mean, Farsa has been so huge in all of these skirmishes, right? And if we take a look at the sub M, we see that she's going for more penetration and even without those core items earlier on she only has the clock of destiny if I'm not mistaken without the winter truncheon she's already dealing that much damage so imagine the winter truncheon coming through she has more damage from let's say the holy crystal if they want to be crazy about it that's just so much magic damage that they need to be able to get free whereas when we look at RQ Brazil with the way they're going for these team fights Louise is primarily just trying to protect Gusta Lagusta and they're Therefore, he's unable to make those plays into the back line to eliminate these threats like Haji. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't completely count anyone out just yet. With Sagan not having any deaths, he wasn't too before far behind Haji in terms of gold. He has also locked in the Clock of Destiny. Once he gets that Winter Truncheon, there oh. may be some plays to happen. There was the burst right there. They got to respect it, Luis. The Bob and Weave out of there, the Feathered Airstrike committed as well. You can already see, though, like some of the damage, especially from Gusa Lagusa is building up here. Once he gets that Berserker's Fury, if he doesn't have it yet, it will be there. And then again, Electro Flash with that sprint is crucial here on the Irithyll pick. Conceal play gonna come out. Luis on the hunt, flickers in. Oh. Oheb able to dodge it, but King also oh. gonna miss. They're gonna find Haji, he wings by wings out. And now it's Blacklist International on the hunt here. Still, RRQ Akira gonna back off. Edward there though, in the bush. Wise working on the turtle for now. RQ Akira, this is going to be very tough to fight. Saigon still waiting for that dawning light to be available. The Takashi goes in here. Now the turtle's still going to be worked on. Everything being committed. Wise with a heavy spin. Able to secure the turtle. Pushing everybody back. Takashi, though, deep into enemy territory. Can he get away from this one? It's four members of Blacklist International. And you can't get away from that, Takashi. Definitely cannot get away with that. The thunder has been quelled as Blacklist rolls forward on this match. I gotta say right now, it is definitely an intense game for the only thing that Brazil has going for them, and I was about to say it, but now it's not true, was they were even in towers. But at this point, Blacklist is coming in strong. Luis, ooh. Luis, that is a misstep on his part. As that was three members, now King trying to come up with a cutoff here, but still going to be the same situation. There's just too much sustain, not enough damage from Saigon just yet. 5,000 gold lead for Blacklist here in the eighth minute, and they're trying to push the tempo even worse. And here you go, Takashi, he's going to get pinned. He gets pinned down, heavy spin, able to pick up another kill here. And Blacklist International furthering their lead in this game four. It's so difficult, right? Because so far, like I've mentioned before, I do realize that Blacklist, they don't have a hard initiator. So they are relying heavily on Haji for these initiates. And it's working so well. And for the moment and for the most part, RQ Brazil, they haven't been able to even build that magic resist. We do see the cloak coming through for Louise, but it hasn't reached that point. Okay, there you go. The Athena shield finally being built, and he's the only person who can try and negate that much damage coming in from Blacklist. And 
the fact that he's only built it here in the 8th minute, ninth minute, it's no concern that Blacklist has been able to dominate this much already early on. Yeah, and I mean, the big problem is, is the fact that he's just getting to hold on a second. Okay, Wise, though, gonna use the heavy spin. Oh. Luis gonna get locked down here. Gonna be a kill going over to Oheb as they find one from Ara here. They're still going around, though. Wise gotta be careful. They're gonna back off. Feathered airstrike to follow up. Forcing out everything. And RQ Akira now down one member. Lord in the taking for Blackness International. That is definitely bad. And before the downfall of Brazil interrupted me, what I was going to say was the fact that they're just getting defense against Haji is definitely troublesome because now, as we're into the 10 minute mark, we have Oheb to worry about, who has gotten a lot of items and now King in trouble. Yeah, there's no way you can get out of there. King was trying to get the opportunity to go for that retreat still if he could. I mean, that happened, you know, we saw that happen to the Turtles, but by this point, Blacklist International are not gonna let that happen. Definitely not gonna have to let that happen, but Brazil oh. wants to keep on fighting. They find Edward there. Oh, Edward, you can't escape that one. Gusa Lagusa able to pick up a kill. Feathered airstrike coming down. He's gonna sprint out of there. Now Wise committing the heavy spin, looking for a cutoff. Finds Gusta Lagusta. One he hit away, gonna be able to survive. And now it's King going in. Wise could be in trouble here, but the damage from Oheb is too much. Takashi now gonna be out of position, has to flicker out. Still chase to the base. And just another hit away, Oheb. Just showing those guns and now focusing on the tier two. Lord already marching down there in the top side as Blacklist, even though they lost a member there, they are gonna be able to still put that pressure in the mid as they're looking for more. Inhibitor turrets not taken down just yet. So for the moment, RQ Brazil, they're still staying relevant in the game. Although they are losing at 7,000 gold deficit, it seems like Blacklist have, no yet, have not found the means to be able to really penetrate through. You know, Takashi right now is literally hanging on for dear life with his team. I mean, literally hanging on to every member of Blacklist, trying to just buy Brazil some time right now. Every time he goes in that back line, he is surviving a little bit longer. We saw him get caught up one time, but now, hold on. Oh, no. oh. Oh, hit down. Look at the burst damage. Oh, Ohad picking up a kill. King going to be out of position a little bit here. He was waiting for the moment that they could find anything. Gusa Lagusa, is he gonna be stopped? He's able to survive a little bit longer. Still RQ Akira trying to hold on, but again, Oheb has the damage. 6-0 oh, and 2 on that iconic hero of his, and they might be pressing the situation even further. Focusing on the top side, gonna go ahead and grab this inhibitor turret. King now finally back in the base here. Edward grabbed that bottom. They're holding on for dear life. Feathered Airstrike oh. gonna be committed, and it's another one. Oheb able to secure another kill, pushing him back further. Wise cutting Gusta. off Gusta Lagusta. Edward on the follow-up, but should be able to get away here. Base oh, no. almost fully exposed. The flicker comes in. Can they still follow up? Gusta Lagusta still I on mean. the run. Where can he go? <laughs> Blacklist so International on the hunt here. He's buying time, but at what uh -oh. cost? Still going, can't get the kill. Haji to clean up. Definitely a valiant effort though, and at least he pulls Blacklist away from the base, and he does buy time in fact, but just enough time for the Lord to be back on the map into the hands of Blacklist. But I gotta say, right, that was genius, because if he didn't pull that, they would have ended that game, but RQ Brazil, with that play from Gusta Lagusta, they're gonna be able to prolong and try and recalibrate themselves, recalibrate their mentality of what exactly type of gameplay that they wanna go for here, even though Blacklist is gonna be able to get this next enhanced Lord. But looking at the items, things are looking quite bleak, right? I mean, the problem is, Gusta Lagusta, she has her items, right? You already have the crit, you have the attack speed, but the problem is because of that range, because of how big, that Farsa's ultimate is, he can't get close enough to deal the damage, and it must be so frustrating. Yeah, definitely very frustrating, especially the fact that Louise can't get in there to help at all, right? Every time he goes in, he's getting melted down, but the question on everybody's mind, can they defend this push? Well, they're gonna have to deal with it, as Lord in the mid lane, Flicker's coming in, Takashi trying to make a play, buy some time and some space. They're still going at Edward in the backside with Electo final blow, Dawning Light to follow up, it's oh, not enough. Oheb does fall, but Gusto Lagusto as well, 
Both gold laners are down. Still the action ensues as Haji grabs a double. Takashi once again all alone here. Now Edward trying to push in the waves. Takashi trying to buy time. Three versus one in the jungle. They just can't get on. this guy off of him. And Edward looking to end the game. Electo final blow comes out. Feathered airstrike. Look at the time. Takashi finally falls. And Blacklist International one on. step closer to making history as they take the series. What are the Brazilian kings to the queen herself? Blacklist International with a stellar performance. They have sent RRQ Akira crawling back down to the lower brackets. Definitely back to the lower bracket. I've liked to set it before, but it doesn't feel like a comeback bracket right now. But it still was a valiant effort by RRQ Akira. But tonight, Blacklist reigns supreme on the stage, putting on a great and stellar performance. Man, Takashi was doing work on that glue as much as he could, but I mean, little by little, that gold lead just got out of hand. I mean, RQ Akira held on for as long as they could, but one after another, again, they didn't get to set their tempo. They didn't get to set the pace that they wanted to, and Blacklist International is just a team that really will punish that. So, again, good try here for RQ Akira, but the defending champions able to prevail. Don't forget, though.